hi guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is hannah renee and it is so nice to meet you this is young womanhood 101 where we share about healthy lifestyle self-care homemaking and all of that good stuff so if you like that type of content make sure to subscribe this is just an average week in my life working i work from home half the time and work in the office half the time so you'll see that and I share a little life update, I share a recipe and all that. So let's jump into this video. drove my new car but not today good morning it is the next day Tuesday and I'm back in the office I didn't talk at all yesterday because I've said this before but Mondays are just insane for me because I normally work in the office and then we have our small group that we lead so we're in charge of it and that is a lot of work so today's Tuesday we played pickleball until 11 p.m. last night so I'm very tired but I've made it to the office it is 9 15 and today I'm working in the office we have a lunch meeting today and then tonight Alec and I are having a date night so usual week things but I will share that with you if you don't follow me on Instagram or TikTok you wouldn't have seen this but we did get a new car so that is so exciting and that kind of took up our whole weekend last weekend because it was a lot of work we drove out of state to get the car then we had to get new tires on the car then we had to sell the old car all this car loan stuff it was just like a whole process and we didn't even do our normal weekend cleaning we didn't do any Sunday rest <laughs> we didn't rest at all so it was just really tiring and that is why I'm also so tired right now because my weekend didn't go like it normally does so that's okay we got a new car and I'm going to recover probably tomorrow there's a lot of stuff in there It's done now. See all the trash? Today has been just a really chill work from home day. You know the vibes. So, not much has been going on, but. I am going to bake some strawberry muffins now. Well, not right now, but this evening. So I will show you that because I think they're going to be so good. And what a fun little summer treat. So I am currently working on stuff for church. Then I'm going to cook dinner. Then we'll see what the rest of the evening holds. I'm making the salmon bowls again. I made them in my night routine video so if you haven't watched that one go back 
but I'm not going to explain too much of what I'm doing for the salmon bowls. I'm just going to cook them and do a little fun montage. Man, Doesn't this just look so good? I'm so glad that I made it for a second time. So if you want this recipe, go to my night routine vlog and you will get it. And it is so yummy. That was really dramatic. Good morning. It is Thursday, another work from home day, except today I have a Zoom call with a new potential client that's in about 45 minutes. So I'm going to hop on that and then I may go work at a coffee shop just to get out of my surroundings a little bit, especially since I worked from home all day yesterday. Just kind of good to get a change of scenery. So I'm going to go to my husband's coffee shop, go work there. I've been feeling so burnt out lately, which is not good. I'm getting the stress eye twitches that I used to get when I was in college. If you watch my college vlogs, then you've heard about those many, many times. I'm not even quite sure why I am stressed out, but apparently I am because my body is telling me that I'm stressed out, so I need to do something about it. Buying a car was obviously stressful just because we had to drive out of state and then we had to get new tires and then we had to sell the old car, so there's a whole thing. that last weekend was so exhausting because of all that stuff so maybe i just haven't recovered from that but i'm a little worried because not this coming weekend like in a few days but the next weekend after that i'm going on another work trip and i'm a little worried because i'm already feeling like this and our work trips stress me out a little bit because i'm just not good with being out of routine. When I go on these work trips, what we're doing is we basically are jumping around from business to business filming content. And you wouldn't think that would be that hard because it isn't. But the hardest part about it is just being on 24 seven because every thing that we're doing could be social media content so I'm constantly thinking should I be filming this for our company's page should I be filming it this for this page and it's just that you're constantly on alert for it's gonna be three days so 36 no <laughs> three days is how many hours I don't know 72 I think I obviously should know that but just being on for that long and not getting any breaks like our meals are also content opportunities so there's no like time to just sit and chill and that's why it's exhausting to me maybe another reason why i'm stressed is i keep committing to travel plans and i've talked about this in a video before but i've traveled so much more in 2024 than I expected. I love traveling, but I definitely need some breaks in between like at least a month or a month and a half. And I've not gotten that kind of break in between traveling. So what have I committed to lately? Next month, me and my family are renting a cabin in Georgia, just a family vacation cabin trip. Then in August, I'm going to Colorado. <laughs> I'm meeting a friend there. My friend lives in Maryland. I live in Tennessee, obviously. We're flying there separately and meeting each other. So doing that in August, 
Right now there's nothing in September, but you never know. Nothing in October. And then November, we're gonna fly back to California where we're from to see Alex family for Thanksgiving. So we have that going on. And then I keep throwing out random ideas for next year. Alex family wants to go on a trip to Hawaii, a family trip. So that would be in April of 2025. <laughs> Then I may be going on a missions trip to Guatemala in June. So that would be June of 2025. The last few things are not set in stone yet, but I keep throwing them out there and joking about it and it could happen. It may leave the group chat. I may go to Puerto Rico with my brothers because I just thought we're all almost adults. The youngest would be 17, so he's close. And we could go on a trip together and that would be fun. But who knows if that one will actually happen. I probably should not let that one happen and I probably should chill out on the traveling. Then the last one is one of my friends is graduating from grad school and she really wants to do like an East Coast New England trip. So like all of the states up in the northeast corner so she wants to do a bunch of those so i may be doing that too and i'm totally excited to commit to all these things but i don't know what my life is gonna look like that far ahead who knows what your life is gonna look like that far ahead so maybe i am getting stressed out because i'm over committing that's the moral of the story. I need to stop over committing. So now that I just rambled about all of my thoughts that you got to be a part of, I am going to get on this call and then we'll get the rest of the work day going. Side and, and keeping that side of it um, current for us. Um, the two of you can work together to kind of see what the comfort level there is. Zoom call is done, had some lunch, now we're gonna run a few errands and then go work at a coffee shop for the afternoon. I said I was gonna do this yesterday, but I didn't. So I'm gonna do it today. I'm gonna make the strawberry muffins. I found this recipe on Pinterest. I'll link it down below. And let's get started. Hopefully they turn out good. For the skin, you've been trying to pull for years. I'm just gonna for you. <laughs> <laughs> 